this isn't your normal auction. Everything's just a bit different. From the family of mammoths to the duplicate Trafalgar Square lions. And of course, the SA-4 GANF surface-to-air missile. Nine metres long, three metres wide. How on earth did it end up in a barn in rural Sussex looking for a new owner? It's quite a complicated story. It um, originally went to the Czech Republic when it was still part of the USSR, and it belonged to the designer of the engine of it, Pro Professor Rudikoff. He sadly passed away, and the solicitor handling his estate contacted us to see if we'd be interested in selling his collection, because he kept one or two of each of the things that he was involved with designing. <laughs> really strange feeling being so close to what was an integral part of the Soviet's Cold War arsenal and it's hard to disassociate what that would have meant had it been used but at the same time it's a strikingly beautiful thing it is the rocket as we all imagine a rocket would be and I'm sure for that reason someone's going to want it. I think any number of people. I mean, historically, it's a fascinating artefact, but visually, it's really incredible. And the SA-4, the GANF, um, it looks like a Thunderbird. I mean, anybody who hasn't quite grown up or who has a little bit of imagination surely has to be entranced by something like this. The missile, which is decommissioned and can't be reactivated, goes under the hammer on the 21st of March. Tim Cooper, Forces News, Billingshurst.